Now, it's interesting, I think, that the Russian government tried to frame this really not as a Russia-Ukraine crisis, but a Russia-NATO crisis. And you had um, President Putin and others talking about NATO's aggressive expansion to Russia's borders. I don't think that framing really bears serious scrutiny of, you know, first of all, if you go back to 1997, before NATO invited anybody to join the alliance, NATO concluded an agreement, the founding act on NATO-Russia relations. And NATO tried to make enlargement pain-free for Russian military terms. So NATO in 1997 said, there is no intention, no plan, no reason for NATO to put nuclear weapons on the territory of new members. The message being there's going to be enlargement would not mean NATO nuclear weapons coming closer to Russian borders. Moreover, uh, NATO said that there, there would be no permanent stationing of substantial combat forces on the territory of new member states. And in fact, until 2014, there were no NATO combat forces permanently stationed or even deployed uh, on a temporary basis for a significant amount of time in the Baltic states or Poland or Romania. It was only after Russia's seizure of Crimea and the uh, Russian involvement in the war in Donbass or the conflict in Donbass that you begin to see NATO deploying small multinational battle groups in the Baltic states and Poland. You're talking 1,000 to 1,500 troops each. Uh, another reason, though, is today five NATO members border NATO, set aside Finland, which is just in the uh, entry process. Of those five countries that border either Russia or the Kaliningrad exclave, the last of them to join NATO joined in 2004. So if this is about NATO's expansion to Russia's border, uh, why have we waited 18 years? And I would also note that in 2002, President Putin was in Rome in May of 2002. Uh, he met with NATO leaders at NATO-Russia summit and uh, signed an agreement to deepen and give a new quality to NATO-Russia relations. Mr. Putin did that in May of 2002, knowing full well that NATO leaders were going to meet that fall and invite additional countries to join the alliance, including quite probably the Baltic states.